Okay guys, today we're going to be putting a new throttle cable on the old scooter. Stay tuned. Okay guys, today um, we're going to do a couple parts on this thing because I want to pull the gas tank out and clean it and maybe the carburetor. I just put a new carburetor on here a few months ago. You guys might have seen that that video. Um, but it started kind of overflowing a little bit. And I get to look at the gas tank in this is steel. It's, had, it's got a little bit of rust in it. So we're going to pull the gas tank out too. But in this episode, we're just going to focus on pulling the throttle cable off. So, so far what I've, what I've got here is I've got the throttle cable off. Or the throttle itself off. It goes on like this. It's just two screws in the back of this piece. Okay? I get right there and right there. No biggie. Self explanatory. We're going to pull this cover off. We're going to pull this cover off. And possibly the side covers down here. But we are also going to take this off. Now I've already got this ready. There's a screw in here that you take out. There's one down here. One down here, one right here, and one right there, and this whole thing will pull out. I'm going to take this out so I can get to the carburetor, which is under here, and there's the uh, throttle cable right, sorry, right there. So let me get you in the stand, and we'll go from there. There is also this front cover here, okay? This is a cover right here. Alright. It's going to be held on by that screw there and that screw there. And I'm going to take them two screws out. We're going to take this cover off and we're going to lift this up out of here. So let me get you in the stand. screws out of this and that just clips in these little clips right here on each side and then down here's the two screws I was telling you about and they're right here so I'm gonna put these up here bring this over here set it there now as you can see now we've got a wide variety of how we can get to this stuff. Uh, the throttle cable comes up through here, up through here, and underneath, and up through here. So we're going to pull this cover off next. Okay. And this cover has. Well, I've already got them out. Okay, it's got a screw there, a screw there, and a screw there, a screw there. I've already taken these out to save time, but it's also got one big one up here in the center. I've taken these out ahead of time to save time. We're also going to take this front, front piece off here and here, which is going to consist of a screw there, a screw there, and that one there, which was has always been missing, so. Alright, so. Let me get that screw out of there, and we'll see what's inside there. There. And it's got this little piece down here at the bottom. little piece there a little clip clips in this little hole right there the hole right there and these pieces three four they just get right in there now if we look you got 
got some brake cables. <laughs> right here is your throttle cable. Right there. Right here's your throttle cable. Let's bring you up on that. Kind of close there. Right here. So it comes, it's got to be fished all the way up through up underneath and up in through here. You want it out of the way of all moving parts. So let's take this off. Now you can use your little power drill on here if you want. I choose not to because it's in plastic. And though it may be a little faster, you've got a bigger chance of stripping it out, especially if you are tightening this. So be careful with them because you strip out plastic, you know, it's kind of a pain to get it fixed where it's not stripped anymore. So now this should pop out of. And there's one up in the front, right directly underneath the headlight. Right up under here is where it's at. Pull that screw out. There's your little screw. Alright, now I'll unplug this. See if I can get this zoomed in here a little bit. I'll show you how these unplug. They, they unplug real easy. Push that little tab, little tab right there. Push that down and pull that out. Now, your headlight assembly is out. The whole thing comes out, just like that. All right, so. Anyway, here is the throttle cable, right here. Right there, see that? See how it goes down underneath there? Now this, I'll show you right here. This is the reason See how frayed that is there? You see that? Let me get you. Glasses are falling up on me. See how frayed that is? No good. That's no good. Though it was working, it was kind of, it was a little stiff, you know. It didn't want to pop back, snap back on its own. Which in turn caused this to break. That's your actual throttle where this, that, where that hooks into. Right there. Caused that to break, so no good. Which I've got a new one of these as well. So, this all you got to do on this loosen your jam nut. Like I said, I've done a few steps just to keep the uh, time down. And what you're going to want to do just unscrew this, just like this, and then pull that right out like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you're ready to fish this down through. Now if you guys remember watching carburetor replacement, I showed you how to take this off. It's real simple. You loosen one of them nuts and this thing will slide right out. So let's do that right now. It's not on there tight. Now this, you open it up full throttle, like that, and this will come out, slide right out just like that. And you take this nut off, helps if you take that rubber grommet off. You slide this nut off like that that out and there you go and there it is and this is ready to be pulled out okay guys we're back here with this I've got these laid out here the ends look fairly the same uh, there is a little bit of difference um, but it's to be expected. This is original and this is aftermarket. The new one <coughs> does seem to be a little bit shorter. 
I don't think it's going to be an issue, but everything looks to be, everything else looks to be the same, so I think it's going to be alright. Now I did notice on this, right up here, I put these here, you can see that the old one is a little bit shorter, which is no big deal, the new one, the old one, which is no big deal, I'll just cut the new one off here until it fits right where where it needs to be in this so and all this does is just slide in there like that so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that down a little bit to about the same size because you can always take off but you can't put back on right so I'm going to take them off to about the same size and we'll go from there and I'll see what kind of fit I got and then I'm going to put this back up in there I'll show you how to hook it up. Okay guys, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I've got this back in here. Remember we screwed the old one out. I just screwed it up in now. I left the jam nut loose and I left this loose because this will all get adjusted accordingly. Because see this will go like this. So, this is going to go in here. Like this. Okay, now I got to pull this, excuse me, pull this up here like this, down on the other end, so I can get it down in there where it belongs, make sure that's in there straight, like that, it should be something like that, now we're going to slide this on, like this. Now, as you can see, I've got some painter's tape here, guys. And that's because, you know why, there's a little hole there and a little tab on one of these that actually, on this one, get broke off and it keeps it from turning. So, of course, I did that to, um, to keep it from twisting on me. But someone already had done that, so... Okay, so we're going to put this in here. Now that's got its own little track. It runs in right there too. And that's kind of hard to see guys, but bear with me. Now these can be finicky, but just just work with it and, and you'll get it. Trust me. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Now, I'll make sure no wires are pinched. Make sure that's free. Okay. Now then, let's get a screw in here. back on the other end down here to carburetor that's what it should do it should snap back every time like that and it wasn't doing that okay so now then I've got I'm gonna get this all right there we go now the other screw just the long screw goes in the top. Alright. Now, 
let's put our handle grip on here. deal as you can see I took all this other stuff off to show you a little bit better but okay let's get you back down show you how to hook up the carburetor again okay guys now I'm gonna try to try to get you in here so you can see this and here's our there's our new cable and again I'm gonna run up there like that just like that now we've got to open this up full throttle so we can get this I know you're having a hard time seeing it but I really can't get the camera any better like that and let it back and then this will all get adjusted see that's a little loose you don't want that that will be adjusted up here on the up there on the, the throttle and down here so and that gets put up over that okay so now I'm gonna go up here on the throttle I'll just turn you up here so you can see this what we're doing here maybe that right there okay what we're going to do it's got a little jam nut we're going to tighten this bring this out a little bit just until down here it takes the slop out now let's try this make sure it opens up all the way make sure it snaps back And it sure does. So there. All right. Now we can tighten up all our connections, and there it is. So again, I don't know if you can see that. Snap them back here. See, before it would come back a little bit, but then you had to push it. But now it. Snaps all the way back down to idle. And you should be able to see that now here as well. A full throttle. Snap back to idle. Full throttle, snap back to idle. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up. And we'll be done with this. Then we're going to be pulling the gas tank out, which I imagine means taking all this off. So. Okay, guys, there she is, all back together. Um, you just put it back together the way you took it off. Uh, sometimes them little clips are kind of, you know, finicky, but you can adjust it and get it where you need it to be. But again, this is what's that's what you want it to do and once I get it running I may have to let's see if I can get it down One, two, right there. see it clear up against the that's your idle mix or yeah your idle screw so this piece needs to be clear up against that idle screw so it should pop back on its own and it is so there you go now I'm not going to put this back together yet because we're going to take the gas tank out here in the next installment. So there's how you change your throttle cable on a, I think it's a 2013. It is a Propel. It's a Propel scooter. So it's just one of them, um, you know, it's not a name brand. It's not like a Honda or something. Um, there's the number on it. Uh... I think it's a 49cc they consider it a 50cc but it is upgraded I do have the upgraded ignition system on it and all that so 
Uh, the mirrors are not original. Someone has upgraded the mirrors. So, all right, guys. I'm going to get ready and uh, get everything I need to get this uh, everything off of here to do the tank. We'll do the tank next because I don't want to start it up right now. So, because uh, I know the tank's dirty. So, and then again, I may have to pull that carburetor off, soak it in carburetor cleaner. You know, take it apart and all that. We'll just have to see once we get there. You guys will be with me on that too. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Today, we're going to be putting a new throttle cable on the scooter. Stay tuned. Marty? Yeah? Can you take this top off for me? I don't know how to get it off. I don't want to break it. No wonder I couldn't get it off. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You're welcome.